We're now in a new chapter, 11, about geometry and fraction concepts. This is 11.1, three-dimensional shapes. Three-dimensional shapes have three dimensions. Dimensions are measures. So the first one is length, and the second one is width, and the third one is height. One, two, three, three dimensions. We've got a length, a width, and a height. And three-dimensional means solid shape. A two-dimensional shape has just two dimensions, length and width. It's a flat surface. It has length and width. A rectangular prism is a three-dimensional shape. Each of these is a rectangular prism, even this raised garden. It's in the shape of a rectangle. It's got length, width, and height. So is this box of butter, this fish tank, this box of cereal, and a refrigerator. Each rectangular prism has rectangles on the top and the bottom, or we could say on the sides. A cylinder has a flat top and bottom with a curved surface. These are three-dimensional shapes. We have a cube, a rectangular prism, a sphere, a cylinder, and a cone. Which of these objects below has the shape of a cylinder? When we look at the cylinder, we see it has a flat top and bottom, and it's got a curve going around. So would you say the party hat, this can of food, or this number cube has the shape of a cylinder? If you said the can, you're right. That's the shape of a cylinder. This is the shape of a cone, and this is the shape of a cube. A sphere does not have a top or bottom, and it has no flat surfaces. It's a ball, like this bowling ball. So which of these objects has the shape of a sphere? If you said the basketball, you're right. It has no top or bottom, and it has no flat surfaces. This has a curved surface, but it has a bottom, doesn't it? This farm silo, and this is a rectangular prism. So we have a rectangular prism, a cylinder, and a sphere. A cube is a special rectangular prism. It has six flat square surfaces, each square surface is the same. And which of these objects have the shape of a cube? This soccer ball, this present, or this ice cream? If you said the present, the gift, you're right. We're not counting the ribbon on top. We're just counting the package. That's a cube. The soccer ball, or some call it a football, that's a sphere, and this is an ice cream cone. So that tells us it's a cone. A cone has a flat surface and a curved surface. So it's got a flat surface, like down here, and a curved surface going around. And objects that have a curved surface can roll. If we laid the ice cream down on its side, we'd be able to roll it. We can roll a ball. If we put this roll of paper towels down, we would be able to roll it. If we put this water jug on its side, we'd be able to roll it. Same with the soccer ball or a tomato or a can of paint. We can roll them so they have curved surfaces. A rectangular prism and a cube have flat surfaces. We can't roll them. If a three-dimensional shape has two or more flat surfaces, we'll be able to stack them, maybe make a tower. And we can stack a cylinder. It has two flat surfaces. We could stack a rectangular prism. It has six flat surfaces. And we could stack cubes. They have six flat surfaces. But we can't stack a cone because it only has one flat surface. And we can't stack a sphere because it has zero flat surfaces. 
Sophia traced the bottom of each shape. Match each three-dimensional shape with the tracing Sophia made. We think, what is the shape of the flat surface? We look at the cube. What is the shape of the flat surface on the cube? Which one of these would it match? If you said square, you're right. If you trace the flat surface of a cube, it will be a square. What about the cylinder? If we trace the flat surface of a cylinder, would it make this shape or this shape? If you said circle, you're right. Its flat surface is a circle and it has another circle on the bottom. For rectangular prism, it would be a rectangle shape, wouldn't it? So we can draw this line coming over to this dot. We look at the shape of a flat surface, and if we traced it, we would see the shape it would make. Our next lesson, 11.2, is attributes of three-dimensional shapes. Attributes are qualities or features. There's special things about them. I hope you have a really great day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.